calibrating your touch probe to your tool setter. To start, we define the length of a known tool or a gauge tool. Some machines will be equipped with a gauge pin specifically for setting up the tool setter. We don't have that luxury, so we will measure a cutting tool. We are going to start by zeroing out our relative to the face of our spindle. With that known, we'll now use the relative to measure the actual length of the tool that we will be using. After the length has been established, we're going to pull the indicator from the machine. Every machine will have its own manner of calibrating its tool center. Here we just have a simple end code. After calibration is complete, we will verify the length of the tool by measuring it. If we used a standard tool to calibrate the tool setter, we'll grab a tool that we can actually cut material with and measure that. With the known tool, we're going to cut the top of a soft material. In this case, it's aluminum. And once we've established the height of that material that we've milled, we will set the work offset to zero so we can use this for calibration. Now we just need to run the calibration cycle for the probe to set just the z-axis. This should give you the best possibility of repeatability between your tool setter and your probe. 